These brave men went through strong currents of flood to save two children. He really sacrificed his own safety for strangers. What a hero! Not many people will take the time out of their life to save others. What a fella! A lightning bolt struck this car and the entire town immediately come to their rescue. The world will be a better place if we help each other like this. This Canadian randomly got out of his car just to brush off the snow from the rear windshield of the car in front of him. This man quickly saved a little kid whose brakes were broken. He was truly at the right place at the right time. A construction worker fell and ended up hanging by a safety tether above the highway. Thankfully, this clever bus driver stopped so that guy could safely get on top of the bus. In an amazing feat of kindness and reflex, this stranger in Seattle ran to save a woman's car that slid down the road. Just when we begin to lose hope in humanity, we find these adorable kids who shows us what we're missing. Not only did he save the cat, but he also thanked the driver for stopping. This family was on vacation when they spotted a dog stuck in icy waters and came to its rescue. Papi, please be careful. Papi, please, you're on the ice, you're on the freaking ice. Papi, be careful. Papi. This little boy's quick thinking saves her mother from falling. This man used his shirt to save an animal, keeping it warm. What a lovely man. Imagine how tired the trash collector was, but he still took his time to play with these triplets. Some people just make the world a better place.
This big truck was making a turn when it came across a smaller truck. The small truck immediately backed up to make it easier for the big truck to turn. Remember, it costs nothing to be courteous to others. This sports car owner stopped to fix a clock drainage. He might be rich in money, but he still has a rich heart. This driver showed us a great example. He stopped to save this little kitten. Thank you, sir. This group of children was playing together, and one of them was disabled and couldn't walk. So when they played to somewhere else, one of them came back and then carried the disabled child so he could still play together. <laughs> 